Okay, this is my personal track vehicle part two. Um, yeah, I'll show you another picture of the, the first one I made. I didn't uh, give you a good picture of that. You may recognize this from some plans that are up on eBay. And yeah, it was a fun build. Took two years to do it with blueprints. This one I'm building from scratch. And I'm doing a little bit different. Most of these guys look like... This is a stand-up model, by the way. This is going to be a stand-up. And they seem to be tippy, either forward or back. And though the tracks are about the same um, size as those on the, the other uh, uh, personal track vehicle, I'm making it a little bit different so the weight will be easier and centered, and it may not be so tippy. That's the plan. It's got more meat on the ground. Put the uh, engine up on a you know, stand a little bit and ran the jack shaft behind it. And I'm running my go-kart hubs here. Now they're going to be real close to the where the engine's at. And there's also a little keyway in there, a little half-moon keyway right in there. And I'm going to run it close on both sides, unlike the others that run them out a little ways. So, my reason is that this uh, peerless axle is not keyed all the way. It's only keyed part way here and then the little half moon there. But I think it, it'll be good enough to do that. And anyway, I, I got it running just to see if I could, the tracks would move. The sprockets are homemade. Um, and... I'm going to try it right now just to see if we can get her running and show you what it looks like when it's actually for real. So hold on, it might be a little jumpy here. Turn the choke off. That's a little Life Fan 6.5 horse motor, and it seems to be running real good. It's got a Comet centrifugal clutch, has calls um, by some of the plans that people are putting out there, and it works well. I don't think it's geared exactly the way I want to have it geared. It's going to be kind of slow, but I'm going to fix that. These are regular snowmobile bogies in back. And I did an adjuster system right here using a piece of regular pipe and uh, welding nuts on each side. Most of them have a one nut deal with an adjuster and the nuts fit perfectly right inside the pipe and I welded it there. Again, this is all just, you know, it's a kind of a mock-up. Everything's just barely tacked together because I want to make sure it would work. And then I'll um, work on it a little bit better. Some of them have suspensions, like this one had a suspension uh, underneath here with a little, I put a little uh, uh, dirt bike bicycle shock on it for the shock on the, but this one having bogies on it, I'm actually going to have spring operated bogies. I'm not going to have that kind of a place to stand on the back. And these are the bogies I'm building right here. And they're simply snowmobile uh, bogies. And again, a piece of pipe in between. It's amazing how that fit in there. And I've got them made so they just absolutely fit perfectly. Let's see if I can see it over here. A little dark in here. Right between the, the uh, right on each side of the lugs of the track. 
So anyway, stay tuned. I've got some big plans for this thing when I get done with it. Um, kind of crazy, but uh, I'm going to go for some long distance things with it, I think. And make your comments available and, and I can help you any way you want to. I wish there was somebody to help me when I was trying to do this. All right. We'll see you later.